one way repeated major ANOVA or repeated major ANOVA or sometimes it is called within subject ANOVA followed by pairwise comparison in SPSS the test is used when there are several independent variables that are related and one dependent variable here in this SPSS data view I had inserted a data from study that included 50 participants in it and each participant had enrolled in this study and the weight of each individual participant was measured and scored at different time points so the weight is the dependent variable and the uh, time point is the independent variable so we have here five levels of independent variables uh, zero month zero beginning of the study one month two months three months and four months in this study there are five related independent variables that the weights in which the weight of each participant has been measured at separate time point and each individual has been asked to exercise daily for one hour uh, for the period of the study and the weight was measured post one month of uh, exercising two months three months and four months and time zero which is the beginning at the beginning of the study was considered as the month zero to find out whether there is a difference in the weight uh, between those five different related uh, levels or groups uh, based on the exercise and whether the exercise have an effect on the uh, weight of uh, each participant and since each participant had participated in the study uh, and measurement taken at different time points so these data are repeated data so one way repeated major ANOVA will be used to find out whether an exercise will have an effect on the weight loss to do the analysis click on analyze scroll down to general linear model and then select the repeated measures in this new window for within subject factor name we're looking here at time point or months let's call it months or months since we have five independent variables or five levels um, insert number five and then click on add click on define and in this new window select and drag all the five levels into the within subject variables for months um, and then click on plots select the months move it to the horizontal axis then click on add click on continue post hoc test will not be selected as we do not have uh, more than one factor here click on em means and select the months and move that into display means for months and then tick on the compare mean effect and use the lsd click on continue 
and on save click on the unstandardized predicted values and click on continue for options select the descriptive statistics for displaying homogeneity of test however homogeneity test cannot be uh, done in these settings and then estimated or estimate of the effect size click on it click on continue and then click on ok several different tables will be generated with a plot toward the ends here so in the first table here um, as shown here uh, in, in this warning it shows that homogeneity specification in the print subcommand will be ignored because there are no between subject or subject factors for the first table within subject factors it shows that we have five levels months zero to months four the descriptive table shows the mean and the standard deviation for each independent variables for month zero to four. For the next table, which is an important one, which is monthly test of sphericity, again this test is required and it is one of the assumptions that has to be fulfilled or met to perform a one-way repeated measure ANOVA and it shows that the p-value is less than 0.05 and the sphericity which is one of the assumptions required for performing the one-way repeated major ANOVA has been violated. However, this is not of a concern. Test of within subject effect showed that the p-value when the sphericity is um, met or when the sphericity is not met as there are alternative tests. And since the sphericity has been violated um, we are going to use here the greenhouse geysers and Heinfeld uh, uh, outcomes or uh, p-value again this uh, test shows that there is a significant differences uh, between the independent groups or variables five groups the next table which is an important one which shows the pairwise comparison between the five levels or five independent variables the first one is the first one which is zero month compared to two which is a month uh, one and then to month two and then to month three and then to month four the this table shows the whether there is a significant differences when comparing two groups comparing the mean for the two related groups or levels again from zero month zero to first month there is no significant differences in weight loss however from zero month zero to month two there is a significant differences in weight loss uh, when the participant exercised for two months and the same for uh, when individual exercise for three months and four months so this table will determine which two groups are related groups or related levels have a significant differences in the mean and finally the plot here shows the estimated marginal means and from this it's clearly shown that for the month one which is zero at the beginning of the study compared to the 
um, uh, weight measured after one month, there is no significant difference in the mean. However, there is a decline in the weight for participant after exercising for two months, three months, and four months. There is significant reduction in the weight uh, when an uh, individual exercised for four months relative to the beginning of the study. So this is the way to perform one-way repeated measure ANOVA in SPSS.